Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a first impression video on the Wet n Wild Coverall Foundation. On the Coverall Powder as well as the Coverall Concealer. So, I did have to pick these up on different times. Um, however, I did finally get my hands on all of them. So I'm going to be going to do a first impressions on these. Um, the claims are all day wear, medium to full coverage. It's supposed to be lightweight, a satin finish. This is supposed to be super, super phenomenal, especially for the price. This was $329. These were $229. And yeah, these are very hyped up. We're going to go ahead and see how it works. So let's go ahead and just jump into it if you want to go ahead and see the first impression. Okay, so I did prime my face already, and I just used the L'Oreal Miracle Blur Foundation. So I did pick up this one in medium tan, and this is the basically the only one that I found that had kind of like a yellow undertone. All the other ones had more of a pinkish undertone. So this is the one that I got, and it is in number 820 medium tan, and yeah and then I also got the powder and the powder I got in light medium and then I got the concealer as well and I just got it in medium because again I'm not sure if this is the only one they had or if the other ones were just you know more of a pink undertone I need yellow undertone so I did was my I did manage to pick up the whole entire collection granted it took me forever to find this foundation um, yeah, so the foundation I got for $329, the powder was $229, and I think the concealer was also $229 as well. And I picked them up. I got this at Wal these two at Walgreens, and I found this at a Walmart, I'm sure. I think. I'm not sure. I don't remember. I'm sorry. But yeah, so we're going to go ahead and just try this on and see how it works out. Alright, so I'm just going to go ahead and like shake it up. So about this foundation, it says all day wear, medium to full coverage, lightweight satin matte finish, and it has Visibrite, which um, complex reduces the appearance of wrinkles and rejuvenates the skin. So that's the claims on the foundation. And I'm just going to go ahead and put some on my hand you want to be careful don't squeeze it too much because this stuff does come out pretty gen generously so that's what it looks like right there it is a thicker consistency as you can tell it's really not that runny but it's not too thick like a mousse to where it doesn't want to come out and this is called a cream foundation so I guess it does live up to its name So I'm just going to go ahead and dab a little bit on my brush and just start to apply this to my face. So overall the foundation seems to be a sort of medium coverage as of right now. It does blend out pretty nicely and I'm using a stippling brush. So, granted, since I am using a stippling brush, the coverage tends to come out a little bit lighter. But if you do want more of a full coverage, you can definitely use a flat top or an actual foundation brush. It's completely, completely up to you. So I'm just putting a little bit more on my cheeks. So this foundation is definitely buildable. I'm putting it on my nose and it's on my chin and it really is concealing a lot of the redness I'm not sure if you can tell too too much but it is helping out with the discoloration it's helping even out my skin tone and it doesn't feel too cakey it does sort of feel a bit lightweight it's not like a serum foundation to where you really can't feel it but for a so-called medium to full coverage foundation, it's not thick. So I'm going to bring you in closer and we're going to try to cover this little red mark on my face. Okay, so I have this red mark on my face. Um, I'm guessing my glasses bruised my face this morning. I'm not sure. 
but we're gonna go ahead and try to cover it with the foundation to see exactly how awesome this foundation works and as you can tell it works pretty well it got rid of it it was like a really deep red slash purple pigmentation so that's really kind of amazing so I'm just blending out the outer part and I'm just gonna dab one more coat on the bridge of my nose just so that we can go ahead and seal that up now it actually looks pretty hidden when I'm looking in the mirror so that's not really that's that's pretty cool for a three dollar foundation we'll see how well it holds up so this is the finished coverage that I'm gonna go ahead and stay with and I'm gonna add concealer now okay so now I'm gonna go ahead and use the concealer and I got mine in medium medium and I'm just gonna apply it underneath my eyes not that much product comes out on the wand so you probably might have to like go back and forth and I'm just gonna use my finger to go ahead and blend this out now I can already see like the concealer isn't really doing coverage at all it's not to me I feel like it's disappearing or spreading I don't know I'm gonna bring you closer so you can see what I mean okay so I'm just like patting it and I don't know like if you guys can kind of tell but it seems to like spread apart and disappear like if it was water or something so I'm just showing you so I mean I guess overall it's not the best concealer but if you want something light it's all right okay so now we're gonna go ahead and use the powder and this is what it looks like overall it's a pretty decent size um, powder I don't like using sponges so I'm just gonna use a big old fluffy powder brush and just dab it to set the foundation that we put and I'm just gonna pat it on first and then blend it out so this one here it claims to be all day wear radiant weightless finish and has the Visibrite on there as well so that's what this one claims it doesn't say anything about the finish or anything but it does say all day wear it doesn't say anything about the coverage or stuff like that there is also no mirror in here so the packaging isn't the best but it was only like two or three dollars okay so when it comes to the powder the powder is a lighter powder in my opinion it's not heavy it's not really cakey so I think that that's a good combination with this foundation because this foundation can tend to cake up. So I'm guessing that's why they made the powder a little bit lighter in pigmentation, a little bit more dusty, a little bit more finely milled, I guess you can say, so that it doesn't cake up your face. So overall, I think these two are really, really great together. As far as the concealer, it's a light concealer as well. I feel like it doesn't do a ton of coverage, but then again, with this foundation, you don't need too much concealer. So that's probably why they make these two a lighter product than the foundation. But overall, all of them together, I do like the combination as of right now. It is 821. It is 820. So as you can see, it's 21. Um, so we'll go ahead and see how long it lasts. I'm going to do my makeup and I will be right back. Okay, so I went ahead and I finished the rest of my makeup. I added bronzer, blush, no highlighter, and I just applied some lipstick. It is now 
two. And we're going to go ahead and see how the day goes. I have a huge day ahead of me. I have a bunch of things I have to do. And then after this, I need to go visit a friend, donate clothes. There's just so much stuff that I have to do today. So we're really going to see how this makeup lasts on me. And if I didn't say before, I have oily combination skin. I get dry around my chin, um, around the nostrils of my nose. And sometimes I get a little dry spot like right here on the height of my cheekbone. But other than that, I am completely oily. Sometimes my oil um, breaks up through the foundation and separates it. So we're going to go ahead and definitely see how well this foundation lasts. I will be doing updates periodically throughout the day and see how things work out. So I will go ahead and see you guys in a little bit. Alright guys, so I'm back with an update and I just wanted to go ahead and do this really, really quick so that I can go ahead and let you guys know how it's holding up and everything. It's about to be 12 o'clock, so it's been on my face for about four and a half hours now and I'm barely starting to see oil peek through. So I'm not going to go ahead and touch up yet just so that we see how well it lasts, if it can last more than four hours and yeah, so on and so forth. So I have my son back now, so we will be doing a lot of things, you know, I have to play with him and stuff like that, and then I have other errands to run as well, so I just wanted to go ahead and make this quick, like, update. So as you can see, I just have like a little bit of oil showing through on my forehead, nothing really on my nose or my chin, either, or on my cheeks as well, so overall I am pretty impressed with this foundation, especially for only being $3.29. I think it was really, really worth your money, especially if you're not going to have an, like, an active day like I am. If you just need it for like really really quick, this definitely proves that it lasts for at least four and a half hours pretty flawlessly. If you're going to wear it a little bit longer, maybe touch up. For right now, I'm not going to go ahead and touch up just for the purposes of this video. But yeah, so I'll go ahead and see you guys again in a little bit. Hi guys, welcome back. Okay, so t it is now 2.10. And as you can see, oil has peeped through a little bit more on my forehead. It also has started to peep through on my like T-zone area. Not so much on my chin, but yeah. So it has been six, five and a half hours since I applied the foundation to begin with. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is touch up with you guys because I do plan on going out what really sucks about this packaging is that there isn't a mirror so you really can't like see anything. I went ahead and I blotted my face um, and I just used the just like regular oil sheet blotters and stuff. So I'm just packing it, tapping off any excess and I'm just going to pat it on. Do not swirl it because you're going to mess up your makeup. So I'm just focusing this on my T-zone and I'm not caking it up or anything. I just want to try to get rid of that shininess. That So I went ahead and I touched up and I guess I'll go ahead and bring you a little bit closer to my face so you can see what's going on and how the foundation is. Okay, so now that we are closer into my face, in the beginning of the video we went ahead and covered this mark right here. It is definitely starting to peep through a little bit more. Um, I did just touch up, but the powder is a light kind of coverage, so it definitely did not cover up that red mark, so yeah. Um, other than that, um, I did like touch up, so my face just looks a little bit like luminous I guess you can say the bronzer I don't know how it's like holding up like it seems in my opinion like it's starting to wear off just a little bit so we will go ahead and come back it kind of seems like the bronzer and the blush is starting to come off just a little bit so we'll go ahead and see how much longer it lasts. It's 2.15 right now, so we'll see how it does in a couple of hours. Okay, so I am back again, and it is now already going to be 3 o'clock. 
I'm actually about to go ahead and leave, so I just wanted to do one last update before I came back. As far as last time, it looks completely the same um, from before. The touch-up has been holding pretty nicely. The oil isn't really seeping through that much. So I'm going to actually run out the door, do some errands. I'm going to be out for a little while, so I'll go ahead and do an update. Hi, guys. Okay, guys, I'm back with another update. It is now 5... 34 as you can go ahead and see I'm very exhausted since my day started off kind of early at 5 o'clock in the morning um, however the makeup I gotta say is pretty decent it does last about five hours that's whenever I did notice my blush and bronzer starting to break up because of the oils of my face and as of right now it's just completely gone like it's wiped off I was looking in the in the mirror at, in the car and you can just see like where the foundation is right here and how it just came off on my cheeks so I did not blot anymore I didn't touch up anymore or anything like that this is the foundation and I did apply it at 8 o'clock in the morning so so that's nine hours already so I do feel like the foundation did like just come off already compared to like all my other makeup too it's just done with so I do feel like the foundation just is already done with it's completely coming off I'm gonna go ahead and go wash my face and everything so I think this is going to be the last update just because I'm going to get on with my night um, so yeah I really hope that this little kind of demo work help for you guys if you have any questions just leave them below yeah so that was it on my first impressions I hope my tips and tricks also helped you out and I hope you guys enjoyed this first impression slash review slash demo I have been wanting to go ahead and try this out but it took me a while to find this foundation all of them are pink undertone except for the medium tan it's the only yellow undertone so I recommend this one you can always just add or mix in a lighter foundation if it's too dark for you or if it is honestly too dark for you the pinker undertones might work for you if you're a little bit paler if you just have yellow undertones like I do add a lighter foundation whatever it is that you want to do but yeah so I really do hope you guys enjoyed this little video for you guys don't forget to comment rate and subscribe uh, follow me on my social media if you have any questions I will go ahead and write you guys back as soon as I possibly can thumbs up this video if you are not subscribed click the subscribe button to see two to three videos every single week and i will see you guys in my next one bye